Hello friends, uh, we'll be discussing objective 2 from HC Verba from uh, the chapter Gauss law. You can also watch the videos of Gauss law in which I have explained the concept. In this video, I will be dealing only with the questions and their answers. So let's start with the first one. In the first one, we have to mark the correct option. So Gauss law is valid for symmetrical charges. No, it is valid for all. Gauss law is only valid for charges placed in vacuum. No, it is valid for all the charges whether they are in vacuum or in any other medium. Electric field calculated by Gauss law is due to the charge inside the Gaussian surface. No, it is by uh, all the charges whether they are inside or outside. So we are left with only option D. The flux of electric field through the closed surface is due to all the charges and closed by the surface yes this is correct because the contribution of outside charges is zero in the net flux okay so only d option is correct in the next part a positive charge q is brought near an isolated metal cube then due to induction one side will get the nearer side will get negatively charged and that two will be non-uniform because the points which are nearer to this charge will have negative uh, more negative charge and the points which are farther to this charge brought will be slightly less negative charge density so the charge distribution will be non-uniform and there will be no charge inside the surface so the interior charge uh, interior region remains charge free and the surface get non-uniform charge distribution in the next question there is a large non-conducting sheet m which is given a uniform charge and uh, we can assume that it to be positive but uh, the answer will remain same if it is negative so there are two uncharged metal rods these are small rods which are placed like this we have to find which rod will attract uh, or which of three these three elements will attract or repel each other have a look at the diagram we have assumed this to be positive so the nearby end will become negative and this end will become positive similarly because of the induction between these two or from this this end will be negative and this end will be positive so all the objects whether it's sheet a sheet b a b they will attract each other so all will attract to each other hence all the options are correct in the next question uh, if the flux of electric field through a closed surface is zero then what are the possible options that can take place then uh, we can just uh, specify that if the flux is zero then net charge enclosed by the surface must be zero e may or may not be zero so electric field must be zero is not the right condition electric field may be zero yeah it may be uh, the charge inside the surface must be zero again the net charge must be zero this is the right statement uh, by this it means the net charge d the charge in the vicinity no it may or may not be zero so must should not be the should not be used so it is not the right statement we have only two p and c is the right statement are the right statements in question number five there is an electric dipole which is placed at the center of a sphere have a look at the diagram if a dipole is placed then both the charges will be inside and as the enclosed charge is zero flux will be zero but field will not be zero on at any point on the sphere first add the no total charge is zero so the flux total will be zero we can have a look also that uh, field will uh, create a positive flux at some places and negative flux at the other places so the total flux added together will give you zero whereas the flux through individual portion may be positive or negative in the next question uh, we have to specify uh, where we can place an additional charge so that the flux through this surface doesn't change 
and uh, these are the positions possible positions are a b c d we have to specify if i'll place a charge at a b or c or d then from what position the flux will remain unchanged have a look at the diagram if we place a charge at a or c similar these are the lines field lines of this charge which is placed at a these field lines will either completely pass out of the sphere or will enter the sphere and leave the sphere either they will enter and leave or they will not enter at all so they will not leave at all so the net flux due to all these lines and emanating from a will be zero but if the charge is placed at point b these are the field lines from point b this field line is okay because when it is entering the contribution of its flux is negative when it is leaving it is positive so the total contribution is zero but look at this field line this is entering from the surface but not leaving from the surface so the total contribution of this field line will be negative so it will change the net flux passing through the hemisphere so if we place the charges at b and d the net flux will change but if we place the charges at a and c the net flux will remain unchanged in the next question it is specified that uh, this when the switch is closed equal number of electrons are entering and equal amount of electrons are leaving this uh, closed surface which is enclosing a portion of wire so we have to find and that what is the amount of flux as the wire is electrically neutral then we can say the net flux will be zero again equal number of electrons and protons will be there just electrons will be moving and protons will be stationary but the electrical neutrality will be maintained so the net flux will remain zero and uh, if a quantity remains zero it remains unchanged also so the net flux remain unchanged which is zero always in the next part there's a conducting sphere and a positive point charge is placed near it and we have to find what is uh, the flux through this closed Gaussian surface which encloses this part of the conductor again have a look at the diagram as induction will take place on the conducting sphere this will be negative and this will be positive and as the Gaussian surface is at the back portion of the conducting sphere it will enclose mostly positive charges so the net flux will be positive thank you